Hello, this is Tyler with Appliance Service by Paul located in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're going to walk you through the proper steps of how to fix and repair a gas line located behind your stove. Okay, now if you happen to have a leak in your gas line to your oven, now there is no repair for a leak unless you happen to have a loose fitting or a loose connection. If that's the case, then you can go ahead and tighten some connections, but in most cases you're going to have to replace the entire gas line to your oven. So we're going to walk you through the steps of how to replace this gas line. Okay, first thing you're going to need to do is get two pair of channel locks. These gas lines are on there really tight. Put the first pair on the line that's attached to the home, second pair on the actual gas line, and crank as hard as you can. Once you've loosened it, you can then remove the gas line. And you're going to do the same thing on the oven portion. Remove it from the oven using your two sets of channel locks. You then get your new gas line. Most important thing to remember when hooking up a new gas line is to make sure that you have some either gas line tape or some gas line goop, they call it, that makes sure that this connection gets sealed. I like to use the gas line tape. It's a little less messy. Now, when you put the tape on, you want to make sure that you wrap it around the fitting clockwise. If you go counterclockwise, then when you tighten the gas line to the fitting, your tape is going to unravel. Once you get the tape on there, then grab your gas line and start reattaching it to the pipe. Get it as tight as you can and then you're going to need to grab your two pair of channel locks, one on the line to the home, one onto the actual gas line. This is where you want to make sure you tighten it as tight as you can to prevent that from leaking in the future. Again, this is Tyler with Appliance Service by Paul. We've just walked you through the proper steps of how to fix the gas line behind your stove.